To set up a calibration curve, we're going to select quant from the main menu. We're going to tap the plus sign to set up the method. Um, let's give this method a name. We're going to do calibration curve for an orange solution. That'll work. Um, you could set this calibration to expire if, for instance, you were going to be doing uh, multiple measurements over an extended period of time. You could require that the uh, calibration curve be regenerated at a particular time interval. Uh, for now, we're going to leave that calibration expiration at never. Then where we see the lambda, okay, uh, this is where we can select the wavelength of interest. Our orange solution has a wavelength maximum of 480 nanometers, so I'm going to input that for the wavelength that we are going to collect the absorption at for each of our samples or each of our standards. Um, we can then select a calibration uh, equation or uh, basically how we're going to fit our data. So we're going to do a linear fit with um, uh, an intercept. So y equals ax plus b. Uh, that's going to be the most appropriate for our use. Under the reference wavelength um, row, you can select the units uh, that your standards are measured in. So if you have a, uh, your solutions are in molar, uh, select that here. And then in none, you could set up a number of replicates. Um, we don't need to do that for right now, so we're going to leave that at none. Uh, you could set a reference wavelength. So if you know that at a particular wavelength, the absorbance for the sample should be zero, you could put that in here. And that's another way of doing um, a sort of uh, background check. Uh, or background correction. Um, we're not going to do that, so we're just going to leave that at, as zero. Um, then you can select the concentrations, or you can input the concentrations of your standards um, by touching these values. So let's say our uh, first standard has a concentration of 0 0.2 molar. You can put in here up to three decimal places. Um, and that's the extent of it. If you needed to put more in, you could do that uh, in Excel, for instance. Standard 2 is going to be 0.48. If you wanted to add a standard, you click, you touch Add Standard, and then from there, uh, you can add another one. Once you have all of those standards inputted in the table, all of the concentrations inputted in the table, you click Calibrate. Uh, the first thing you'll have to do is measure the absorbance of a blank, and then you'll be asked to measure the absorbance of each of the standards. So I've now put the blank inside the instrument. I'm going to touch blank. and it has measured the absorbance of the blank at 480 nanometers. You'll notice that this measurement was much faster than the scan that we did, and that's because we're simply measuring uh, the absorbance at only one wavelength as opposed to many different wavelengths. And then you would input, uh, or you would place the cuvettes containing each of the standards uh, in the instrument and measure the absorbance of those standards. So at this point, I've measured the absorbance of all of the standards at 480 nanometers. You can see the calibration curve that's displayed on the screen. And here it gives you the equation for the line that it has uh, generated. Next, we can measure the absorbance of the sample. Um, so we'll click sample. And we can input the sample name, or we could just say sample one, for instance. Uh, and then we can put the sample in the instrument and measure the absorbance of that sample. And now I can put my sample with an unknown concentration 
in the spectrometer and touch measure. And it will give me my sample, the absorbance at 480 nanometers, which is where we set our build our calibration curve. And because uh, we've already done measured the standards uh, and the instrument knows their concentrations, it actually outputs the concentration for us.